welcome back to Afternoon Express on this Friday. Now, whether it's our phone, television, or a gorgeous cutting-edge kitchen appliance, every high-tech marvel brought to us by LG carries with it something of Korean culture. One which celebrates and embraces the new whilst holding the reverence, great reverence, for tradition and history. Now, I was lucky enough to travel to the home of LG for a fascinating insight into the place and people who brought us these amazing products. I'm really excited for today because today we're doing some sightseeing in Busan, starting with a visit at the Haidong Yang Yang Sa Temple. Plus, I've been given this brand new LG G7 smartphone to try out for the day. Let's have some fun. Stepping into the temple, I am surrounded by people, food, and just an incredible sense of the Korean culture. Being born in 1990, it means I was born in the year of the horse. So I see this gorgeous, incredibly built horse statue that I have to pay my respects to. I love the new LG G7, mainly because of the camera. I am a picture type of person, so the display on this phone is out of this world. I finally get to the temple and I'm faced with this incredible view of Busan. As I walk, I'm seeing people praying to the Goddess of Mercy. People are praying to Buddha, of course, and it's giving me an incredible appreciation for the Buddhist religion. We're in front of this incredible statue of the Goddess of Mercy here in Busan, and I hope that you can grant me a longer stay because I feel like I never want to leave. <laughs> The aim of this game is to take a coin and throw it into the bowl. And if you land, you can make a wish. So you wish me luck. <laughs> I got it! Our next stop would be the Jagalchi Seafood Market, one of Korea's biggest as well as nearby Biff Square, central to the city's reputation as a cultural showpiece. Music is a huge part of Korean culture. So on my way to the fish market, I see this street band performing. And you guys know me, I have to, you know, join in where I can get in. <laughs> Walking into the fish market, I see these massive tanks filled with crabs and lobsters, and I have to get my hands on the biggest crab in the land. My attention is immediately drawn to a bucket of live octopus. This one octopus climbs out of the bucket and drops onto the floors of South Korea. And then the lady in charge just picks up the octopus, plops it back in the bucket like nothing happened. I'm shook. <laughs> Busan is everything you can ask for in a city. From market life to the temples, takes every single box. I just wish I could stay. But Seoul was calling and with it, one last chance to absorb more of the city's renowned culture capture a few selfies and soak up more Korean tradition before boarding our plane home. We make it to the Gyeongbokgung Palace, which is a national landmark that we can truly appreciate. But when I get there, everyone, even the tourists are dressed up in national attire. I guess the Hambok experience is what I need to sign up for, so I finally find this amazing spot in Seoul, South Korea, that I can also try on some things. Obviously, Palisa has to choose the crop top option and it comes with this amazing, comfortable, big skirt that I can truly feel free in. Going through the traditional tea ceremony, I'm finding a lot of cultural links between the Korean culture and Zulu culture. You can't use one hand when you're serving your guest and you can't cross food. You have to go around your tray. So I'm kind of feeling at home. Finally, some free time. I'm keen to kick back, relax, and do as the Koreans do. I'm walking down the main streets and I see a burst of colors from rings, necklaces, earrings. So I'm gonna go investigate. Unfortunately, I'm not finding the perfect piece to match my outfit. And then the shop owner says, he's got a little trick up his sleeve. I think we've got something here. I see perfect stones to match my top. He allows me to pick them and he makes a custom piece for me. And then we feel a moment. There's a vibe going on. Being so far away from home, I truly miss my Afternoon Express family. So I decided to leave them a little note, a little sentiment all the way from Korea. Coming from a country that is truly rich within its culture, this place 
is truly up my alley. Being immersed in the Korean culture on the very last day was the perfect ending to what was a marvelous trip.